Good evening, YouTubers. The new time travel, Jaime88. I'm back with another video review. And tonight, I thought I might do another VHS and DVD pickup review because I just reached 329 subscribers on my channel. And yes, I'd like to congratulate to everybody who subscribed to my channel and also supporting my channel as well. Okay, let's get on to this week's pickup review. I have one clamshell tapes, uh, two VHS slip covers, and five DVDs. All right, so let's get started. The first VHS tape that I picked up, and I forgot to show it in last night's um, pickup review which is a 1994 VHS of A Troll in Central Park, directed by Dom Bluth, the guy who directed American Tale, um, who else? We're Back, A Dinosaur Story, among others. And it says, This spectac... I mean, I meant The Spectacular Adventures of a Magical Troll who teach two children that when you believe in yourself, you can do anything. I saw this on HBO back in 1996. Here's the front. And here's the spine. And the back. A beautiful animated fairy tale for all ages. And here's some other goodies and business reply card. Let's put that in the side. And let me show you the tape for a troll in Central Park, Ink Label. The print date is December 3rd, 1994. Right, let me put this back in there. So, yep. That's the, um, sorry, just back in there like so. And plus, not only that, some comes with selections, some promos. Already got Batman, Mask of Phantasm, Dennis the Menace, um, The Secret Garden on DVD as well. Richie Rich already had that. Um, Superman the Movie. I already have the 86 VHS of this selections among others. So let me put that back in there. Alright. Move on. Time to move on to a next VHS. A 1991 VHS of Little Shop of Horror with Rick Moranis, Ellen Green, Steve Martin, James Belushi, Bill Murray. And it's directed by Frank Oz. It's a musical comedy. And, yes. And it's a remake of a black and white movie. Here's the front. The spine. Never spine. The top. And the back. It's a former library rental. One of the year's most entertainment films. A hot house full of laughs. Gene Sisko, Chicago Tribune. And here's a tape for Little Shop of Horror with the sticker label. And there is an end label of the the print date is from July the 18th, 1991. It's a reprint. Uh, the next VHS the last one I got, a 1998 VHS of Lady Hawk with Michelle Pfeiffer, Ruggo Howard, Matthew Broderick, and it's directed by Richard Donner. Awesome film. I would highly recommend to pick this up. Here's the front, the spine, the other spine, the top, and the back. A bold, beautiful vision, Lady Hawk is enchanting. And here's the tape 
for Lady Hawk Ink Label. The print date is March 14th, 1999. So that's the 1998 VHS of Lady Hawk. Alright, it's time to move on to the DVDs. Um, the next DVD I got, which is a 2006 DVD release of King Kong. This is a 1933 classic with Fay Ray, Robert Armstrong, and Bruce Calvert. I saw this on Turner Classic Movies back in 2004. When they paid tribute to Fay Ray, she passed away on October 10th, 2004. Same day for Christopher Reeve. Here's the front, the spine, and the and the back and is digitally remastered plus some special features. Alright. And here is the disc for King Kong. Alright. Move on to the next DVD that I picked up is a 2008 DVD release of Batman Superman Public Enemy. It's a DC animated original movie. It's a direct to DVD release. It's from the Warner premiere, featuring the voices of Kevin Conroy and Tim Daly and Clancy Brown. This is a very good movie. I just saw this on Cartoon Network back in 2010. Here's the front, the spine, and the back. No one is above the laws, President Lex Luthor. Let me show you the disc for Batman Superman Public Enemy. Next DVD that I picked up is Doctor Who The Doctor's Revisit. I just got a new copy earlier tonight because I replaced the old copy, which is damaged. All right. Here's the front, the spine, and the back, featuring three stories, I mean two-part stories, Bat Wolf, The Party on the Way, The Stolen Earth, Journey's End, The Impossible Astronaut, and Day of the Moon. Alright, here's uh, disc one, disc two, and disc, I mean disc three. I messed up. And here's the um, magnets refrigerator set. And that's going to, and that completes my the Doctor's Revisit collection. Alright, moving on to the next DVD release, which is a 19, no, 2008 DVD release, excuse me, of Touch of Evil. It's a 50th anniversary 2 DVD set with Orson Welles. Janet Lee and Charlton Heston. Here's the front, the spine, and the back. Contains three versions of the movie. It's the restored version. It was re-edited in 1958. The original theatrical cut that was shown in 1958 in theaters. And the preview version that was discovered in the Universal Vault in 1976. All right. Let me show you what the DVD came in. Right. Okay, here's disc one and disc two. Yeah, yeah, disc. Yeah. I'll just say DVD one, whatever. And it comes with this Universal Archive. Pops out the, um, The original scripts. Very nice. Let me set this camera down a moment. Put this back in there like so. Alright. Oops. And that's the 2008 DVD release. And the last DVD that I picked up from 2006 DVD release of 
Howl's Moving Castle from Studio Ghibli Film, directed by Hayao Narazaki. Great directing. Here's the front, the spine, and the back. Now, I also got Kiki's Delivery Service downstairs. With the voices of Billy Crystal, um, Lauren Bacall, Kristen Bale, Blythe Danner, and Gene Simmons. Now, not the pop rock Gene Simmons, the actress Gene Simmons. You don't want to be confused. But anyway, here's DVD 1 and DVD 2. All right, now that's it for this week's VHS and DVD pickup reviews. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Thanks for watching.